Today we're going to take a look at a play that is very quickly becoming one of my favorite plays in Madden 25, and the play is called PA Flow. It's out of single back dice slot or single back doubles, it depends on the playbook. The playbooks that this play is in is Detroit, New York Jets, San Diego, and Seattle. Absolutely love the triangle route as my first read against zone defense. It's money. We're just going to make triangle our first read. We're going to check to see if it's zone or man. If it's man, we're going to pass lead up like you see right there. We're going to pass lead up. Then we're going to click on, cut it off, and go to the inside. We're also going to do that against zone, but against zone, we're going to pass lead to the inside. So that's basically the first read. We see it's zone here. We throw it up. It depends on the room that you have. As you see there, I waited a little bit extra because I knew I had room. Here at zone, we pass lead to the inside, and we're going to get that spec catch animation on this triangle route. As you can see, it's basically a fade, but to the inside. Here, we use a nice little glitch that also works in Madden 360 and on the PlayStation 3, basically against man-to-man -man defense or something like that. You just pass it up, zig to the inside, then all the way to the outside. Now there, I don't know why I put a drop in there, but as you can see, the same kind of thing here. Man-to-man -man defense, we pass lead up, click on, go to the inside. Now you're going to see in the gameplay footage here, I'm not really playing the greatest players in the world. Uh, basically, I've been streaming a lot, and there we do the swerve glitch. Um, I've been streaming a lot lately, uh, 11 hours, 10 hours, and 8 hours the last 3 days. As you can see, again, we get the spec catch animation on my Twitch. You can check the description for the link to that if you want to come check it out. So, again, zone. We're going to pass lead to the inside. And as you can see right there, against man, especially with nobody over top, just pass lead up. And one of the things I love about this triangle route so much is that even if it's a two-man under defense, we're still going to be able to pass lead up, click on, and make the play. So don't forget about that. Now we're going to move on to circle route. As you can see right there, this is basically a slant route, but a deeper slant, but it's a post route, if that makes any sense. I do find it to be quite unique. I find it to be very effective. Um, basically, we're just going to make a judgment on whether we want to pass lead or not. Sometimes we're just going he's going to be wide open. We don't need to pass lead, so we're just going to press circle. Here, as you see, I make a bad read. I throw into double coverage on third and eight, so I pass lead down and to the inside. So... That allows me to pass lead down to the inside, click on, and catch the ball in front of the defenders and avoid the interception. There, he's wide open, so we don't need to do anything. We just press the button and pass the ball. Here, uh, pass lead down to the inside again. As you can see, there was a safety right there, so I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't going to be able to get it. So the first read is triangle. We're going to notify if it's man or zone. Uh, if it's man, this circle route isn't really that much of an option. So as soon as we see that it's man, we're going to look to triangle, then we're going to look to square, then we're going to look to X. But if it's zone, circle is money. Now the second read on this play is always going to be a very quick read to square. As you can see right there, we face zone coverage, so we see very quickly before we go to circle that there's nobody in that area, and we just throw a bullet pass no pass lead or anything like that needed, even though by habit I do pass lead down into the sideline. The reason I pass lead down into the sideline right there is a perfect example. It was cover two, my guy got pushed a little bit, and here's another example. Against man-to-man -man defense, the coverage is going to be tight, but it's going to be almost impossible for our opponent to be able to click on and make a play. We're going to pass lead down into the sideline. What that's going to do is we're going to click on, we're going to be able to catch the ball in front of the defender making it impossible for him to make a play, and then even sometimes there when we do it, he's going to break away from that man coverage. So triangle against man is pass lead up, against zone is pass lead to the inside. Square, it's pass lead down and to the sideline, it works against man or zone, just watch out for the purples. And circle is going to be our third read, but if we see that it's man defense, then we know that circle is not going to be an option. So we go triangle, then we go square, then we're going to look to X, which is going to be next. If we're worried about man defense, we know our opponent's playing a ton of man and the circle route is not going to be an option, just put them to a smart routed out route or just put them on a regular slant and then we've got three routes that beat man coverage and we've got three routes that beat zone coverage. The X receiver is also a very nice route. Now, I don't hit it as often as the other ones because it's my third read and the other ones are so effective that they're usually going to get open going to be posting a custom playbook scheme for this particular formation. See you guys next time.